Welcome back, everyone. Kremlin Archer here. Time for some more Project Zomboid. Sorry about the somewhat irregular videos over the last couple of days. We're good to go now. Um, woodcraft. I just I should take all the woodcraft videos I have and leave them over at the the uh, TV. I have read. I spent a little bit more than a day, or a little less than a day, I should say, um, reading the various woodcrafting books. So let's go learn about some woodcrafting. It continues to be more and more zombies on the bottom floor of the mall. It's fine. It'll be fine. I don't know what you're worried about. At some point we'll start depleting them, right? He says confidently. Oh. Can't open those windows. Alright, that's on. I left the one cassette in here, right? Well, there's Woodcraft Episode 1. Where was Woodcraft Episode 2? I know we had two tapes. I had two tapes. Did I already put it in here? No. It's in my backpack? It's in my backpack. Okay. That seems like a reasonable place to put things. Turn on. Play. Hey, there's another carpentry level. Alright, so we're to level 3 now. And that's also uh, the end of that cassette. I guess I should just go ahead and watch episode... Well, yeah, I suppose I should just go ahead and watch episode 4. Well, maybe I'll wait a little while on it. I'm, I'll be curious to see what we're now at in terms of potentially moving things. Oh, we got some zombies that made it upstairs. What are you guys doing up here? Sometimes I wonder if they actually make it upstairs or if the glit if the game like when I leave an area and then come back the game just kind of glitches and moves zombies that are directly below this level up to this level. Also, hello zombie. That is my that is a door to one of my rooms. I would prefer if you don't bang on that, please. Left it open too, so now we have to be worried if there's a zombie back in here somewhere. Seems to be okay. Nope, it's not okay. Hey, you, come here. See, like, how did this zombie, I know you can barely see it, but <laughs> how did this zombie get all the way down into our base area? I feel like that might just be a glitch, but also I might just be making excuses. Will not discount that as a possibility. Let's get these real radio magazines done. I hear banging. You banging on one of these doors? Yes, you are. Oh, there's two of them. I think there may actually be three of them, and one of them's on the other door. Yep. And there's even more. Very slowly making their way over here. Alright, clearly tomorrow day- tomorrow in game day, the project is going to be spend some more time cleaning the lower levels. Again. <laughs> Continuing project. Alright, another morning. Sleeping in the break room. Sleeping in the break room. Alright, that's... Let's eat one of our jerky. Um, I sang a little sleeping in the break room and I could absolutely sing the correct song. We could just go in here and do this, and then I can go smoking in the boys' room. All right, let's do some clothes. Do I have just one thing I want? I've got some nails, not very many though. I would really like to bring a hammer with me. I know there's a zombie banging back there, by the way. 
Um, cause I would like to do if, if we can, yeah, there it is. If we can find some, some space to do the work, I'd like to do a little bit of uh, actual protection of the mall, which would really mean if I could get just a few more nails. Take one of these boxes of nails. All right, let's go clean up our mess here. They are really doing a good job of finding their way up here though, aren't they? Like way better than I would have thought. there. Satchel. Hard hat. Come on. All right, let's see a minute. Immediate vicinity zombies killed. No, it's not. <laughs> lose this hand axe pretty soon. Hey, it's a firefighter. I hear a zombie banging on a door somewhere, but I have no idea where it is. Zombie coming around behind us. There you are. I need some planks. I can start defending these walls. If I had the uh, the metalworking abilities, and by that mostly I just mean a, a welding mask, I would weld metal plates to these things instead, but it's not an option we have currently, so we'll have to make do. Hey, plus one axis. What do I need for this? I'd have to go up and get a garden saw. I guess that's not the end of the world. Let's go get that. Dismantle some things for some planks. Oh, hello. Oh, that's where you were making noise. I think I need to try and repair this thing before I do much else, because it is not doing well. I think I have some wood glue in there somewhere. Wood glue, wood glue. Yeah, there it is. All right, Mr. Handax, where'd you go? There you are. Cool. Oh, axe, right, right. I was here for a for a, a garden saw. There we go. And you know, when I say axe, of course I meant saw. You all knew that, right? <laughs> Gunshot in the distance. This is mostly just asking for the uh, the zombies to tear these things down, but you gotta at least make the attempt, right? Is nobody gonna come up in my face while I'm messing with this? Look like it. Whoa! <laughs> Always got. There's the the risk of uh, going to three times speed. Anybody else? 
course, you have to start over now. Nice. Four planks. That's a start. Something coming? Yes. I feel like with these these double windows, it'd be nice if you could put like eight planks on them instead of four. Since you've got, uh, you know, twice the height. This is gonna take so many planks. <laughs> it's a lot of windows. There's a pickaxe here? How did I not know that pickaxe was here? Well, that is, uh... It's quite the find. I had no idea that I could even spawn in a grocery store, let alone that it was here. Walking right past it all this time. Alright, let's barricade these guys. Alright, I got some stuff here. You know, now that I think about it, this is probably the best. These, the, these things right here are the best things to work with, probably. I don't know how much they give. Wait. You can't dis dis uh, dismantle them? I can configure a container. That's from a mod that I bear that I don't use that I should use at some point. Um, yeah, I can't dismantle these things. Interesting. Never mind then. Need two planks out of those. This is significantly less less useful. Zombie? Zombie. What do you have in you? Is that a nailed baseball bat or like a barbed wire baseball bat? Baseball bat. With wire. Okay, cool. Sure, I'll take that. Alright, that's a, that is a start. Such as it is. You know what? Give me this. <laughs> Give me this pickaxe. Big old boy. Can't believe I didn't see that there. I love the pickaxe. My, one of my favorite weapons. Possibly my favorite weapon. <clears throat> now we're gonna do a little, uh, we'll do a little roundabout the, the mall here. Um, cleaning, cleaning up. And you see, you're seeing why this is one of my favorite weapons. <laughs> A little hard to come by, though, I gotta say. Ooh, hello. Got there, bud. You like a paramedic zombie? A little first aid kit on your back? Yeah. Zoe's jacket? Oh, this is a this is a uh reference to somebody. Is it not Left for Dead, is it? For some reason, it, it has Left for Dead vibes for me, and I don't really know why. It's been a very long time since I played that game, so <laughs> the memories that they blur.
what are we up to on on picking up beds? It's like a 50-50 shot now, basically. That's not so bad, especially with this many beds. Does that go for this one as well? Yeah. To have a real bed, tis the dream. One of these days. I think there's a zombie behind me still too. Yeah, there it is. Hey, where are you going? Nice rifle. I'm sure I actually su successfully got that off his back. I did not. Wow. Ah. Turned in a weird way there. <laughs> Wasn't ready for that. Maintenance leveled up. I had a minor heart attack, by the way, with the uh, with the mods, because this uh, the small town res first responders mod or whatever the hell it's called that gives me sort of the, like themed um, police and fire updated in such a way that like kind of broke things. <laughs> And I had to figure out how to fix it, how to like roll it back so that it wouldn't be broken anymore. It was, uh, it was scary. Because I was like, oh no, did the... Did the save get completely corrupted now because I... Can't do this, but it was okay. It worked out okay in the end, it just took me a little while to fix it. What did you get? Evil. I don't remember what that does. Coming in. Nuclear biohazard suit. Nuclear biohazard back. In BH. Cartridge map. I don't remember if I have that one or not. So the NBH hazmat pack. 1560 looks like it's just a rethemed uh regular one regular backpack is what I was trying to say shovel Any spiffos? Pancake the Hedgehog? That's not a spiffo, but I'll take it. Hey. Wander off like that. Oh, Sprinter incoming.
Try not to get out into the world too much in order uh, in my clearing because that would never end. <laughs> we'll deal with them as they come into the mall. Which will eventually mean that we'll have to deal with the outside ones, but a little bit at a time. Yeah, there, lady, you're gonna hit by a train. She should be more careful. Caught by a window. There's obviously a lot more zombies in the mall, but we're just gonna- I'm gonna go down the hallway here. Back to like the escalator near our- our place, and then we'll go back up in there. We'll kill the zombies along the way. We'll call that, uh, good enough for the moment. Did you go in here? Where'd you go? Where'd that lady go? She disappeared on me. There she is. Ah, crawler playing dead. I'm really worried about the time, the, the, the time that I'm sure will come at some point in the future where a sprinter is just standing still like that and I get close to him and he charges me. <laughs> that is one of the things I'm scared of. Sounds like there's a zombie back here somewhere. Mm -hmm. I guess maybe it's downstairs. I feel like I would have found it by now if it was up here. I think in the next episode we'll start to try and facilitate our move out to the helipad area. Cause cause fifty fifty shot of breaking a bed, that's a totally reasonable chance of breaking a bed. And we'll uh We'll get one of them eventually. <laughs> but for now, I'm gonna close up shop. Thank you so much for joining me. Hope you had a good time. I am as always Crummy Little Nurture, and I'll see you next time.